Welcome back to another episode of Psycho Cinematic. Today, I have a quick episode talking about the two different versions of the movie Good Night Mommy. The original Good Night Mommy from 2015, I hope I'm saying these directors' names right, but Veronica Franz and Severin Fiala. And then the latest version of Good Night Mommy made in 2022, directed by Matt Sobel. And as always, spoilers ahead. So last week I was looking for a new movie to watch, just something I had never heard of. And I came across one called Goodnight Mommy. And it wasn't until after I was done watching the movie that I realized I watched the remake and not the original. And it's funny too, because when I Googled it, the 2015 version, the original, popped up. And so when I watched the remake, I saw there was a different poster. I was like, huh, it must just be a different poster. And then I started watching the movie and I saw the kids in there. I was like, these kids don't look like the kids that were on that poster like at all. Lesson learned to check the date before you watch, but I enjoyed the movie and I made a video about it and people quickly commented saying that the original was better. And so of course I had to go back and watch the original and see which one I liked better. I can confirm, at least from my own opinion, that the original is in fact better. The original is much darker and much more disturbing. So that already puts it a leg up in my book because we are in fact watching a horror movie. I love the fact that the original film does not lean so heavily into this idea that ah, you, you're not our mom in terms of convincing the audience of that. Of course, Elias and Lucas are convinced that's not their mom, but the original doesn't continue to paint the mom as this villainous imposter. The original film leans heavier into the fact that Elias is super disturbed and he's inconsolable. So I really wish I could talk to the original directors, Veronica and Severin, who are also credited as writers on the new film, because I would love to ask them if they gave their blessing for the remake, if they made money off of the remake, if if they thought it was a good idea to be remade at all, if they liked how the new one turned out. But unfortunately, I can't talk to them, so I don't know their feelings on the matter. But me, outside looking in, I think this. If I were the original filmmakers, I would be flattered that this film was being remade seven years later in English rather than in German so that it can cast a wider net of people who speak a different language but don't want to read subtitles. I hate reading subtitles, but I'm not against it. As my love for films has grown, the more I realize how many great films there are out there that aren't made in English. So I'm excited to view those, but I know a lot of people don't feel the same way. I would view it as a sign of success that my film was remade so quickly in another language and assuming that I gave my blessing to have them take my baby and run with it, I would feel pretty pumped. I hope it is the same, in fact, for the director's writers from the original one, Veronica and Severin. So really quick, I wanna touch on some of the things that made the original version a lot darker than the remake. And it basically all centers around Elias. So Elias was burning bugs with his magnifying glass, which we may have all done as children. I know I did definitely feel horrible about that now because that's basically the equivalent of like the the war of the world's aliens with the heat ray just melting these insects so I, I feel bad about it now i wouldn't do that today but it's not unheard of but then he does it to his own mom's face her freshly <laughs> reconstructed plastic surgery face yeah, that's a super dick move. And then also going as far as to seal her lips with liquid cement or super glue and then cutting her lips open again and actually cutting her lips. God damn, that was disgusting. All the blood spewing about. And I can only imagine how bad that would hurt. And then, of course, when he saved the cat and then he finds the cat dead, I already knew. I was like, man, this kid is, you know, showing these like psychopathic, sociopathic behaviors, I guarantee you he killed this cat. And then, yeah, putting this cat into a fish tank and leaving it for his mom as a gift, saying like, look what you've done, even though it was him, it's pretty fucked up. And that cat is there towards the end too when he sets his mom on fire. And you know what? This movie doesn't necessarily spell out for you how Lucas died, but with the cat floating in the fish tank, plus the beginning of the film when Elias is looking for Lucas in the water, one could assume that Lucas drowned. I would also like to point out that before Elias burns his mom to death, when she trips and hits her head on the ground, gets knocked out, Elias drags her unconscious body back into the house for that little ceremony before he lights her on fire. And in the remake, after 
Elias pushes his mom off of the little barn ledge and then a fire starts in the barn. He literally doesn't even attempt to drag her out of there, just leaves that barn. And it's like, what the fuck, man? So maybe the American version is darker. Like this kid is such a freaking prick, man. Also, I don't know if this adds to the more dark and disturbing nature of the original version, but Red Cross, when they show up and, you know, Elias's mom is tied up. They just walk right into the house. Like, I'm sorry, that would never fly in the United States. You do not step foot into someone else's house. Like, there's a risk you're going to get shot or you could be arrested, anything like that. But it just looked like commonplace. Is that how things go in Austria? I, I don't know. I've never been to Austria, but like, you're just looking for donations. Why would you walk into someone's house uninvited? And if you think no one's there, don't go in. So I thought that the remake was good. I think at the end of the day, you know, it's pretty similar to the original. It's not quite as good, but it's the same story. And that story is a great story. I don't think it's bad. And I don't think it's nearly as bad as the masses make it out to be. Now I'm curious, what did you think of both those movies? Which one was better? Should there have been a remake at all? Please let me know. And that's all I have for you guys today on this episode of Psycho Cinematic. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.